Hi, hi, welcome viewers. So good to have you back joining me. Thank you so much. And for the first timers, please don't hesitate to tap on that subscribe button, like, share, and definitely comment because I love to hear from you. Oh well, today is another day that we should give what? God praise and thanks because it's another day that he didn't have to wake you up, but he did, right? So we should be joyful, give praise unto the Lord, and thank him with all we've got. We've got breath, we've got life, right? And he will give it unto us, how? More abundantly, okay? Remember, I'm not a minister, I'm not a minister, I'm not a pastor, I'm a Sunday school teacher and an encourager. And I hope I'm encouraging somebody today. Well, you know what they say? They say, don't be too stressed to be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be too blessed to be stressed, right? But today, our message is going to be, this little message for you is going to be too rejoiced to be stressed. Be joyful, so joyful that that stress has to float away, right? The devil always finds a way, I'm telling you, always finds a way. He, his great grands and grands and agents and demons, they find a way to trouble your joy, to steal it away. Don't allow them to do that. Don't. Don't allow them to. They will come in there with some bad news, or come in there to tick you off and make you real upset. Don't allow it. That's one of the reasons that when you stay calm and humble, as one of my messages I just um, sent forth to you, was being humble and calm. So when you're calm, right, you feel like he can come in there and disturb your peace, the calmness. Don't allow that because then he steals your calmness, your peace, and makes you make you all riled up, get you busy, get you mad, right? And get your reaction to be all messy and angered and out of character because it's not like you, right? So we have to try to definitely have some discipline where calmness is concerned. Calmness in Jesus. Ask him to help you to be still, even in distress, even in difficult times. And laugh it off. As they say, laughing is the best medicine, right? So laugh it off. Let him know that he did not disturb you and there's no way you're going to let him get in to disturb your peace and your joy. Okay? Because when you let him in, all joy goes out the door. Philippians 4.4 4 says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Not sometimes. Always. Again, he says, Rejoice. There's emphasis on joy because if you have joy and you're bubbly and you're positive and you're confident, which it exhibits that confidence when you are joyful, nothing will get you down and out and withdrawn, right? Uh, if you're looking for a, a worldly perspective from this, a Barbara... Fredrickson at the University of Michigan, she had found that positive emotions broaden our mindset, which then builds our skills and attention span. And I found that on Google. It, this is from her 1998 article, right? So it broadens your mindset and then builds up your skills and holds your attention span. That's something else that it does. But joy also brings, the benefits from joy also can bring strength. When you're feeling low and weak, it can get, build you up and make you feel strong. 
it can relax you, it decreases stress, it improves pain. That's why so many doctors, surgeons, so forth, use this laughing gas with a lot of the procedures that they do. It relieves depression. So joy has many benefits. So let's make sure that we get our dose of joy today. You laugh it off. Let him know that he is not going to steal your joy. Yes. Be joyful in the Lord. Okay. Be joyful unto the Lord. And he will be there. Backing you up and making sure that nothing gets in the way of your, your joy and your peace. Because when you have that peace. Joy can easily float in. All right. Romans 12 12 says, Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation when things aren't right. Be patient on the Lord. And be in constant prayer. Don't mean all day, 24 hours a day, don't stop. But every time that something tries, tries to stop. Steal your joy. Pray about it. There's nothing like getting before the Father who is capable and mighty and ever powerful enough to keep your, you calm and to keep misery and discomfort and affliction out of your way. Okay? So definitely find joy in your scripture. Find God Find joy in kneeling before God and definitely in the hope and the patience through that tribulation that Romans 12, 12 talks about. So don't let the devil steal your joy today. You don't let him do that because he will try. All right. So this message says to be rejoiced and to be stress free. All right. Be rejoiced and be stress free. You do not want to be stressful. All right. So have a great day and remember that. Bring some joy to someone today. Laugh. Laughing is the best medicine. All right. And continue to pray. God bless you. I love you. But God loves you more. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. Because I love to hear from you.